Hi everybody and welcome to Wild Music. The powerful Patti LaBelle was born in 1944 in the USA and she started off in the group Patti LaBelle and the Bluebells and then uh, that transformed and the next incarnation was the band just known as LaBelle and then she moved into her solo career. And she, her career has actually spanned over 60 years. Unbelievable. In 2002, she also had her own lifestyle show called Living It Up with Patti LaBelle. And then she starred on Dancing with the Stars, USA version, in 2015. She's known for her vocal power, her range and the dramatic delivery of her lyrics and songs. This particular song is a performance she gave of Forever Young. And this is a song that was written by Bob Dylan and originally recorded by him, in nine, released in 1974. He actually re released on the album, which was his 14th studio album, Planet Waves, he had two versions of the song, a slow version and a fast version. And he has been quoted as saying about the song that he wrote it thinking about one of his sons and also that he didn't want to be too sentimental. So it's a father to son song. This performance is one she gave in 1995 at the Soul Train 25th anniversary. Now this is actually, and I believe Whitney Houston is in the audience in this version, I'm pretty sure. Patti LaBelle actually performed this song 10 years before that at the famous Live Aid and that was in 1985. So anyway, let's hear it. Keep you. Thank you. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. May you build a ladder to the stars and climb every road. And may you stay.
she obviously was enjoying that performance so much herself as well. What a fabulous performer. She's the consummate performer. Oh, wow. Well, let's go in and have a focus in on some of the things that I made notes of during that listen. Oh, brilliant. So let's start here, where she slides up from her chest to a head voice at this point. So effortless. You may you build a ladder to the stars and climb. Whoa, and that beautiful vibrato came in as well. Let's hear it again. Oh, that was really, really well done. So from this point, I'll lead into it a bit further back. From a bit further back. Others do for you. May you build a ladder to the stars and climb every road. <laughs> brilliant, wasn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Let's go back near the beginning as, as well again and just focus in on her phrasing all the way through. You could take your pick from any point in the song, but her phrasing is just absolutely beautiful. So phrasing, where she starts singing each line or phrase or sentence, you could call it, and where she finishes it, where she chooses to start, where she chooses to finish and how she does this, as well as where she places every word in relation to the context of the song and the rhythm of the song. That's phrasing. And always keep you. Thank you. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. Yeah, brilliantly done, right? Oh, let's hear it again. A little bit further back. Always keep you. Thank you. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. Mm, nice. What about further on in the song? Let's hear an example of a phrasing from this point. <laughs> Hands always be busy. Ooh. May your feet always be swift. Oh. May you have a strong foundation when the wind is changing. Shit. Yeah, just even in that section of the song, her phrasing was just unbelievably great. So let's hear it again. From about this point, I think it was. May your hands always be busy. May your feet always be swift. May you have a strong foundation when the wind is changing shit. May your heart... Yeah. So now let's have a listen to some of her vibrato. Right near the beginning, here's an example. Bless and always keep you. Yeah. Thank you. May your wishes all come true. Yeah. May you always do for others and let others do for you. And yeah. Let me play it again. Always keep you. Thank you. May your wishes all come true. May you always do for others and let others do for you. <laughs> Beautiful. Another example was here. Stay, may you stay forever young. <laughs> And this gets me into the next point is not only has she got some absolutely stunning vibrato, but she's got those really long notes that she holds and carries on with such effective control. So I'll play that one again and there are a couple more that I've highlighted for the long notes, but there is vibrato in these as well. So 
relaxed and so beautiful. Here's another example. So long note, but with vibrato all the way. Amazing. Whoa. And may you stay, may you stay, may you stay in my head. May you stay forever young. <laughs> Another example at this point. Wow, and then she went up a note right near the end of that. So she's controlled. She's got that very, very effective breath control all the way through, knowing that she's going to go up at the end. So she kept the breath there just enough and controlled it so well. And there's another point later on in the song I wanted to highlight here. <laughs> I will play that one again. Stay, stay forever. And she got it. Whoa. Her dynamics had variety throughout the song. Let's have a listen at, from this point. So that's the idea, the change in loud to soft and, and all of the graduations in between. So moderately loud, moderately soft or anything in between those. I'll play that again. <laughs> Let's hear some of the high notes now. So for, coming up just after that, from about this point. <laughs> and so in tune as well, isn't it? Right on pitch. Beautiful. <laughs> and what a brilliant band and and the gospel backing singers as well. Oh, fantastic. Let's go to another example. I know. May your heart always be joyful. feeling she might be pointing to Whitney Houston there. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm thinking that. Let's have a listen again. So that was from this point. May your hands always be busy. Brilliant. And again, here you are. Lovely, right? And have a listen to the effect she got at the end of the word stay at this point. Stay. 
Yeah, she's. It's like a glottal stop or something. She just stopped the sound, stay, and stopped it. And it's so effective. And there, the huh at the end as well. Beautiful. <laughs> so well done. Now, it's very interesting. She's using the microphone technique to pull back. She's obviously got a lapel mic on as well as having the mic there because later in the song, she moves right away from the mic. And I'm guessing they must switch her lapel mic on. But she does pull back from the normal mic there at this point, and you can see. And she does that purposefully because she's powering out pretty hard here. And now the lapel mic would be switched on. Let's have another listen to that. Well, what an amazing performance that was. Ten years after she'd performed the same song at Live Aid. Wow. I really, really enjoyed watching Patti LaBelle again perform Forever Young. Ten years after the Live Aid version that I have heard before. I hope you enjoyed my reaction and I look forward to seeing you very soon again. So bye for now.